Uh, the things I do for you people. Hey everybody, welcome to TV Talk Show. I take a look at the good uh, The Nut Shack. It's the Nut Shack. It's the Nut Shack. Uh, this is why I'm always apprehensive to make wish list week. Because I know people are are gonna ask me to review things like this! The Nut Shack! <sighs> Yes, the Nut Shack has become recently very popular due to an obnoxious meme that has been going around. I'll definitely talk about that later. It's the Nut Shack. What is the Nut Shack? Well, it's a story about this guy named Jack who lives in the Philippines with his pet, I don't know, monkey, squirrel, Satan demon named Horat. And they go to the city where his uncle and his cousin Phil live, and then they have, I was gonna say wacky shenanigans there, but just nothing really happens. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. The Nut Shack was originally on this small time TV network called Mix TV, which primarily was Asian shows or like Asian American shows. That's basically what it is and basically what it was. The Nut Shack was one of, if not there, for a show. Because at the time it came out, that was it, really. They didn't have much else. So the Nut Shack was decently promoted at the time because that's all they're like, first. That's all they really had, like I said, first show. But the Nut Shack was not a hit. The sh they promoted it like that, oh ho, especially on their websites. Like the Nut Shack website, of course, was going to promote it, but MixTV.com and all sorts of stuff, a lot of ad stuff. For a small time network promoting a show like this, yeah, people expected at least something, but what they got was nothing. They got less than nothing. They got the Nut Shack! Uh, so the Nut Shack has many, many problems with it, but first, oh, let's talk about the characters, or should I say, moving bits of animation with voices that have one trait. Phil is the obnoxious guy, and that's basically all I can describe him as. He's just kind of a racy, dicey kind of guy who's just Phil. There's nothing really to him. Jack is an idiot, and that is pretty much it. Their uncle is, um, okay, it's really hard to describe him because he's He's crazy, but it's also sometimes sensible-ish, but he's also, like, really crazy, and then also very sensible. It's just, just uh. And then he's very much a womanizer, and then there's Horat, the horrible robot thing. Oh, uh, that thing, I don't even care. It's basically twitchy from Hoodwinks, but with whatever charm it, that character had sucked out of it. Then there's also a bunch of random people like Dwayne, the super white landlord, and then Chica, the bartender, and Cherry Pie, who's the tranny. Ugh. But the characters are far from the worst part of the Nut Shack. The, wor the worst parts of the Nut Shack, there are three elements that the Nut Shack does absolutely horribly. First off is the animation. This animation is disgusting. Granted, the show is based around grossing you out, making you feel uncomfortable and sickly and like you have the plague. But the thing is, it's supposed to be stylized, kind of like a graffiti style or street art style. I can totally respect that and get behind that. Actually, a lot of the concepts that they came up with, not concept art, but like ideas that they have trying to make it sort of a street art style of animation and art, that is actually a pretty good idea because, well, up until... Recently, it hasn't been getting very much attention, so in 2005, that actually seemed like a pretty good idea, but ugh, the movements are all jer jerky and not smooth. It looks like like the really early Adobe Flash. And let's see, what else do we have? Oh yeah, the infamous fingers. So you know how in cartoons that everybody's got four fingers and stuff? That's so that they don't have to draw it in very much detail, so that, because that extra finger could cost you, like, I don't know, an extra couple thousand or something. But they have four fingers in this, which is fine, but the fingers are giant, they're super detailed, ugly-looking sausages that just protrude out of people's hands, and, oh, okay, I can't really describe it very well, just look up the pictures. 
I don't normally say that in this, especially if it's something like the nut check, but just look it up and you'll see what I mean. None of the motions are good. Everything looks like it's animated in Photoshop because nothing moves well. Like I said, it's all jerky and stuff, but for the few times it is smooth, it looks like things are just sliding off. The animation is extremely lazy. The character designs are very generic and not very impressive except for their uncle who actually looks... I don't know, somewhat presentable, in a sense, except for a couple things about him. But, the art is just one of the three things that the show does horribly. The next thing that it does really bad at is the voice acting, which everybody who knows about the Nut Shack knows about its awful voice cast. For some unexplainable reason, these characters have the most unintelligible, unlistenable voices I have ever heard in an animated show. And this isn't some sort of thing, like I said, with the animation where they're just trying to make it off-putting and ugly and disgusting. No, 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 no. These voices... Nicole talk like this, you can't understand what I'm saying, but you still understand what I'm saying. If you can understand what I was saying right there, please put that in the description, and if you're right, I'll give you like a hundred bucks or something. Almost every character talks like that, especially Phil, he's got a voice that sounds like this. And everything's all garbled. No, you can't understand what half the people are saying. Jack is always kind of slow and has a sarcastic tone in his voice. Which, of course, they're trying to make it the typical idiot voice, but you can't understand what he's saying. The uncle at least has a little bit of a better voice. It's a, that was a horrible impersonation of him, but you can at least understand what he's saying. But by far, the worst voice is Horat. Oh, <laughs> you remember how I said he was like twitchy from the Hoodwink movies? Okay, well... If you've seen the second one, which I hope you haven't, that was terrible, how they made him, they made him talk at a normal pace, but just super high pitch. Now take that and ramp it up to about 25,000%. Where he talks like this and it screeches every Who wants to listen to that? You can't understand what he's saying for one thing and the notes are so high it makes my ears bleed. What were they thinking? Really? Okay. Yeah, you want it to be a squirrel, monkey, gopher, panda, I don't know, whatever that thing is. It's disgusting, that's what it is. It, but it, it sounds horrible. It sounds absolutely horrible. Half the time he can speak okay, half the time you need subtitles for it, and then sometimes they'll give you the subtitles and sometimes they won't, and then sometimes they'll give it in the wrong places when you can't understand him and then not give it to you when you can't. Oh, then... <sighs> And then the absolutely worst part of the show is the humor. It's another one of those adult shows where the only thing that they strive for is being shocking and crazy and, you know, just like Family Guy, just like Mr. Pickles, just like anything else you can think of at this present time. But the Nut Shack is probably the worst example I've seen of it. Yes, worse than Family Guy. And if you know me, I don't like Family Guy in the slightest. But I do like some adult shows, some adult shock shows. I won't say which ones, but if you've watched some of my other videos, I'll hint at it. The only reason I won't explicitly say that is because this channel is, you know... It gains a certain audience with some of my other series that I have, and I don't want them to look it up. Or them, I should say. Although one of them would uh, is safe to assume it's South Park. Anyways, the others I will not say here so you don't look it up. Anyways, sorry that's random tangent, just a little bit. The Nut Shack, its style of humor is... It's gonna need some explaining. Okay, so you know those shows, like I mentioned, Family Guy, Mr. Pickles, where the only thing it really tries to do is gross you out with some lead up to the joke and stuff? The Nut Shack literally just shows you disgusting or weird stuff with no context, no lead up, no punchline, no payoff, no anything. There's nothing of substance in this. I've seen five episodes of this show, and by the end of it, I was screaming out loud with nobody in the room, make it stop, make it stop, please make it stop. 
I can vouch for the other people in the house who are downstairs who actually came up to see what was wrong. Ask them and they can definitely clarify. That's purely because of the humor. Ugh. And then sometimes, like in the episode Duck Karma, or actually any episode they do this, they just hold on something like that just has absolutely nothing of value and nothing just it's just weird like this guy who says like hey have you ever smoked a cockroach and it's just him smoking a cockroach what what's funny about that and then there's some jokes that could have been funny but really needed a better voice cast to deliver it because there's an episode where jack learns to do graffiti and then he ends up tagging over somebody else's graffiti and then this whole gang comes and attacks him now he he gets shot and phil says a line that would have been funny he says no jack can't die it's only the second season see that is kind of funny that is a pretty good joke but his speech is so garbled and the delivery is just so bad that it ruins it for one i couldn't even understand what he was really saying the first time i had to go back and take a look at what he's saying because like i said nobody enunciates everybody's voice is just awful you can't understand what they're saying at all <sighs> see there's a lot of stuff that could have gone well with the show granted it also tries to do Plots like their uncle trying to impregnate every woman in the city so that he can form a massive army of babies to take over the world, which is very stupid and sounds even and it's even dumber in the episode itself. So yeah, the Nut Shack was a monster flop at the time, even for a small time network. The show tanked massively. And the creators took to Facebook to try to get people to rally up with the show and try to get it go uh, going again because they already made a second season. They were booked for a second season. It was one of those shows where the network just was so sure it was going to be the huge hit for many years to come that they renewed it for a second season. And yeah, the Nut Shack bombed miserably. So that they, did they didn't even air the second season for a while. And I guess I couldn't find any information on why they aired the second season. Maybe they just had no sort of... I don't know, nothing to air, maybe they were just saying, hey, they're laying around, let's just put them out there anyways. But the second, the first season was released, I think I said 2005 earlier, but it was actually 2007. Uh, and then the second season was released in 2011, four years later. That's a bad sign. They tried to promote it heavily once again, giving it another chance, but it did even worse the second time around. The Facebook, the Twitter, nothing helped. The show was just dead on arrival. In fact, they even stopped promoting the episodes about midway through the already shortened second season because they knew the Nut Shack was a mistake. So that was it for quite a while. The DVDs remained unsold, the shirts remained thrown in the garbage. Until recently when all of a sudden the Nut Shack has become a meme. For those who have been living under a rock, there is a meme where people post a video of the Nut Shack theme song, you know, It's the Nut Shack. 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 And then every Nut Shack is replaced with something else. First, I'm going to go over the theme song. It's... Okay, I'll admit it's not as bad as everyone says because it's got at least a nice beat, but... Now, then, there's nothing wrong with these videos themselves. I've seen a lot of them. They're actually pretty funny. But why I don't want it to be a meme, why I hate the meme, which I don't want to hate it, because a lot of these videos are super creative and super funny. But personally, I prefer We Are Number One, <laughs> which I'll be talking about sometime soon. Oh, yeah, we're going there. Anyways, why I don't like this meme is because I just want the nut shack to fade away. I want it to be gone. The Nut Shack is an abysmal, awful show. And it's getting all this recognition now. All these people are watching it and they're trying to, I don't know, give it attention. But, but it's the Nut Shack. It doesn't deserve any of that. It, they tried it twice and it didn't work. Nobody found it funny, charming, or endearing, so... Why give it more attention? Because it's a meme! Yay, it's the Nut Shack! Ugh... 
But seriously, people, this meme really needs to stop. We got better sources out there to do every thi every this is replaced with this. That's a funny thing, but please don't let it be the nut shack anymore. Let this thing just fade away back into the obscure void that it used to be in until people from the internet have forced it out of there and brought it back into the spotlight. Hopefully this will just be another thing like... I don't know, I don't really keep up with a ton of memes, but hopefully this will just be one of those that dies out pretty soon, so that the nutshack can be no more. But if people like Rebel Taxi and Mr. Enter keep talking about it, well, people will just be reminded that it exists more and more. The less people talk about it, the happier we'll be a society. Now, it just seems like a drop in the bucket when it's compared to other gross-out adult shows that try too hard, but what makes The Nut Shack so bad compared to all those? It's just the amalgamation of everything I mentioned, the terrible animation, the awful voice acting, the laziness, the arrogance that the people had behind the show. Oh yeah, they were toting themselves around as comedic geniuses when this came out, and they were boasting on all of the websites and all the ads that, oh, we have the least taste of anybody, we're gonna offend you and you're gonna love it, that kind of stuff. It's not just like happy promotion either, they genuinely thought people were gonna consider them like the next Matt Groening. They really thought they had a chance, but not just like, oh, we think we have a chance. It was Seth MacFarlane levels of arrogance and just complete blindness. And then everything wrong with the show, the terrible characters, the awful voices, everything. Just nothing about the show works. From the theme song all the way to the very end credits, nothing works. Everything about it is awful. Everything about it is garbage. It easily gets the Scaling Seal disapproval. <coughs> and I hope that I never, ever have to mention the nut check ever again. I never want to mention those two words in the same sentence ever again, except for in the context of please let it die. So, that was very angry. See you next time.